Yeah, look at where we are. The Libya Hotel. The one and only hotel built by Gaddafi. May his soul rest in perfect peace. So this is the Libya Hotel. It is a hotel built by Gaddafi. It was in operation until Gaddafi died. Oh my goodness. I learned when he died, they could not continue financing it. These are not my words though. This was what I was told by a local. He told me the hotel was in operation until Gaddafi died and he was the one financing it. Until he died, they couldn't operate it again. This man was such a pan-Africanist. May he so rest in perfect peace and may the wicked never know peace from generation to generation. But come to think of it, if the hotel was in operation and people were patronizing it, were they not making profits? Were the people not paying for their services? Why was he still the one to finance it to the extent that after his demise, its operations come to a halt? That was what I was told. So right now, our agenda this morning is to go and visit the fruit market. It is not too far away from here. We want to see the kinds of fruit that they have here in the Marché de la Fruit. You know, I told you here. Yeah. Filming is extremely difficult. So if only they allow us, we are good to go. I'm chewing gum. So you guys don't come for me. Look at the drawings on the wall, the arts on the wall. They are so good and look at how beautiful that hotel is wow extremely beautiful the libya hotel wow you can see that now it is old let me ask this people whether it's in operation i know that it's not in operation but let me just take the opportunity to ask them it's very beautiful but it's no more in operation bonjour hotel travail Hotel, travail, travail, travail. Ah, ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, like you heard from them, it is no more working. Exactly as my friend told me. So we are heading to the fruit market. Already, you can see that we have a lot of fruits here. The first fruit here is orange. As you can see, that is watermelon, purple. Wow. Wow. You see. See what's happening there. They are loading the car with fruits. They said I can find all kinds of fruits here. So let's check out what they have here. In the fruit market. This side is orange. Did you know Mali is one of the largest exporter of tropical fruits in the world, most of which they produce by themselves? If you don't know, now you know. What is the name? What is your, uh, this one? Melon. 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 Okay. How much? One kilo. Melon. Is it one kilo? No. Two kilo. You don't sell one? No. Only kilo. This one is what? Melon. They are all melon. 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 This one is watermelon. Watermelon. I want to do one. Did you also know that Mali was the first West African country to have focused on the exportation of mangoes? These are melons though. <laughs> But come to think of it, Mali is a landlocked country with such hot and arid climates and land respectively. So how do they do this? You want me to taste it before? Well, I'm a Oh, it's a bad problem. I can just buy, no tasting. Why? It's not good? It's good? What do you want? Knife? Knife? This one is how much? Wow, just by the way, this guy is really customer service oriented. Yeah. Nice. You can use this one. <laughs> It is my first time tasting this kind of lemon. The only lemon I know is water lemon. I think I've tasted something similar to this, but it was sour, but this is really sweet. <laughs> wow, guys. It's really good. Wow. I'm very like, I've never... Uh, yes. I can eat this one. No. They don't eat this one. Uh, you like to eat it. Oh, okay. If you like it. Guys, what do you think? Is the skin of sweet lemon edible? Drop a comment and let me know.
So this particular market, as you can see, is where the women source their foods at a cheaper price for retail. It wasn't sweet, it was sour. So this one tastes different. So this is a fruit market. They have different kinds of fruits. Wow. But I think so far this is the best. The melon I bought is the best. It's the best fruit. Because everything else here I have tasted before. Seeing these men and women about their hustles, smiling is such a motivation. It teaches you to push harder and go for what you want because no one will do it for you. <laughs> ah, what I wanted to see is tangerine. You guys have seen that before. Everybody here knows what tangerine is. Like the melon. The one I'm eating now is different from what I know. So, the melon is the only root that is new to me here. So far, I've seen six different kinds of fruits. <laughs> I hope I'm too early here. That is why there are not a lot of fruits right now. Because it's just eight something in the morning. Mali is landlocked hot and arid but most of these fruits are grown in the southern part of the country where the river Niger traverses and which experiences the most rainfall. All these are melon. Melon, melon. Though Mali produces most of its fruits, they import a few, especially from Côte d'Ivoire. Some of these are the ones in the boxes. I think when we go inside, we will get some the other... The pineapples you see so far are imported from Côte d'Ivoire. According to a 2010 document from the World Bank, Mali is the first West African country to have initiated the exportation of mangoes in the 1970s. These mangoes were mostly grown in the south of the country, for example, Bugoni and Sikasso, because the south experiences the most sufficient rainfalls in the country. According to OEC.world, in 2022, Mali became the number 62 largest exporter of tropical fruits in the world, with Germany being its largest market. In that same year, tropical fruits became the sixth most exported products in Mali. So welcome to the fruits market. Apparently, this is the banana section of the market. That's the end of the market. Wow, you guys, look at all these boxes containing the comb of bananas. It's very obvious they have just finished offloading them. So let's go back. All right, these guys you see, they are all porters. They help the market women carry their goods with their trucks to the lorry station. They're just like the porters we have in Mapola. But this time, these ones are men. They have started. <laughs> They have started warning me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is how this place looks like. It is in there. How will I carry it? It's heavy. All right. It's early morning. Okay, you guys. Let's go find something to eat for breakfast. Okay. So this is how the market looks. And that is a. Wow. I love this thing. Wow. I love it. Hmm, the thing I love about these people is how they plant a lot of trees. Wow, it makes everywhere look nice and cozy. Because they know their country is very hot, they try as much to plant a lot of trees. So you see, everywhere is shady. When you are tired, you can just sit under a shade for a while before you continue your journey. That is so cool. Bonjour. Je viens. Hotel. Is it? Merci. Guys, I'm going to that hotel up there. I think the police is there, so let me hang there. 
so the hotel we are going to is called hotel damichi it is a five-star hotel one of the biggest in Bamako located in the hub of the city it has been recommended to me by my youtuber friend I want us to go here and check it out here there are a lot of mosquitoes so you see how they sell a lot of mosquito nets look at that hotel it has a name but it's in French I've never been able to mention it Wow, I thought the entrance is somewhere here, but it's not. Okay, so this is the entrance to the hotel. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you guys. Let's go. Bonjour, ça va bien? Je viens pour manger. Restaurant? Okay, merci. Wow, this is amazing. It's so cool. Look at the hotel. You guys. Wow. This place is beautiful. Very classy, very clean, very green. Hotel de l'Amitié. Wow. It's called Hotel de l'Amitié. I hope you guys can see it. Hotel de l'Amitié. So beautiful. Bonjour. Restaurant. Ça va bien? So this hotel has several security checkpoints. At the main gates, we have the military men guarding the place. Bonjour. When you enter, we have a court for private security personnel. Before you even come here, where they check your bag and wears and scan you before you have access to the main premises. Yes. Yes. Welcome to the premises of the Hotel de la Métier. My friend told me it's a presidential hotel. I don't know what it means by that, but I can tell you it has one of the biggest premises of a hotel and also one of the tallest buildings in the very heart of the city. <laughs> Morning. How I'm fine. Ghana. Yeah. yeah. Mali good? <laughs> Wow, look at that ambience already, you guys. Look at the ground, very clean. The most amazing thing about this place for me is how it looks like a coconut plantation. Give it that I'm that girl from the coconut grove village. I'm loving it. My friend told me it's a presidential hotel. I don't know what it means by that, but I can tell you this hotel has one of the biggest premises for a hotel and also one of the tallest buildings in the city center. We are at the entrance you can see we have a janitor cleaning up the place and here i am going to the next security checkpoint no. Your nationality? Ghana. Ghana. Okay. Mm. Cream. Mm -hmm. Cream. Mali. Cream. Food. You take after. Uh -huh. uh, you take. Ice food. No, no. After. If you go to to room, you take. Okay. <laughs> So you can see where we are, the place is so beautiful and I don't know if they will allow me to film so I'll just be coveting and filming for you guys to understand just to show you how the place looks Selfie time guys <laughs> Guys, Mali, they will check every atom of your belongings before you have access to public places. Ha! Okay. Alright, this is the cafeteria or the coffee shop of the Amici Hotel. Uh, they don't have a um, menu, you just walk to the waitress and order what you want. Uh, Okay. 
It twisted guys these grains are artificial very warm ambience nice presentation wooden table in between wooden couches with blue comfort pillows as you can see it's a grand hotel very classy hotel d'amitié mm -hmm. malians are extremely security conscious so i can't show you much but this is the only thing I can show you. This is a big place for prominent people. That is why I decided to come here. You can see how the place looks so beautiful. She's taking so much. So very nice. Thank you. So since Hey, this one is big, but you don't have a small one. Mm. Papa, it's a grand. This one, there's no baby. It's a cool bed. Guys, this is my breakfast. So, as you can see, this is what they brought. Ooh, the coffee looks good. Oh, no sugar. Very bitter. It's coffee. Very bitter. So I'm gonna be adding all the sugar. So I'm taking a little coffee. Mm. I'm not definitely eating this thing, but I don't like it. So I just want them to pack it. So guys, the main purpose is to show you how this place looks and I hope you guys are loving it already I'm loving it but the presentation is not too cool guys okay I really love their table from here I will be taking you to the best ice cream joint also in Bamako called nice cream it's in Hamdalai in Asi Demil the nicest place in Bamako here, that's what they took. So, when I'm done with my food, I'll let you know. Wrap it for me. I think okay, okay, I'm happy. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to wrap it for me so that I'll take it home. I can't eat it. It's too big for me. This is a beautiful place. So, everything is 2,500 super. That is 50 cities. 50 Ghana cities. So, most people you see here are businessmen or head of company CEOs who are here to have a meeting with their partners or just to have a discussion. Yeah. So eventually I'm done with my food and I'm here to pay my bills so we can be this beautiful place goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so another thing I can commend this place for is the professionalism of the waitresses, how they conduct themselves and their mannerism, not to talk about their dressing. Wow, I really love it. Okay. Way 
in this washroom, I'll give it 8 over 10 and I'll give Azela 9 over 10. <laughs> security conscious so they don't allow cameras they don't i've asked the waiter and she said okay i could film around so but there's a police one day i don't know what you do so i'll try as much to get you something to show you how the place looks it looks extremely beautiful the lights are automatic when they see you there Speak English? Small, small. Okay. Your place is nice. Okay. Okay. So that's a balcony and that's a security man guarding its gates here. I'll get home. I'll get home. Guys, look at that place. They are selling souvenirs and everything. I'll get home. All right, guys, so that is the lounge. It looks beautiful. The furniture and everything looks beautiful. And look at that entrance gate, it looks beautiful as well. You know, I'm just showing you from afar because people are there whose privacy is very important. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'll go, don't worry, I'm saying that I'll go. You guys, look at the lightning. Wow. Mm -mm. This place is really nice. I will be like to you. The camera is not even doing it justice, you guys. <laughs> it's not finished. It's not. <laughs> wow they have quite a number of flags there i don't know whether they are all african flags though definitely not <laughs> Trees make this place so beautiful. You guys, what do you think? Can you drop a comment and let me know? Just look at the environment. Look at this premises. My food. Fruit, fruit. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys, look at these flower pots. Wow, and just look at the landscape. And look at that. Oh my goodness, Malians are so much. But the only thing I don't like about this place is that when I came, they took my food, my sweet lemon. The security kept it with him, and I had to come for it when I'm leaving. How can I trust you with my food? Ridiculous. Would you ever do that? Drop a comment and let me know. <laughs> Sebo, it's good. <laughs> okay. Bye. Any point nice about me? They don't like cameras, so. Hey, the place is nice. I don't know. Are you going to take a picture? Wow, the grass and the trees, everywhere lush and sparkling, wow. Yeah, so now I can boldly say the reason why my friend says it's a presidential hotel is because of the caliber of people who visit there, most of whom are businessmen, foreigners, officially dressed, you know, discussing issues packed with documents. So I hope you guys love the video. 
and you love the place that I went to the hotel the Amiche I hope you love it if you like it kindly give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe I'll see you in my next video until then bye